tools you definitely need to have if you're gonna groom a long-haired dog. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back. We are Ed and Mel. <laughs> These are our favorite tools that it's taken us about 10 years to compile this list. Yeah, pretty much. If you've never seen the last video, we featured the grooming, grooming table. table. You definitely want to check that out. One at the very top of our list is... Very top. The grooming table. Oh my lord. Today we are moving on to undercoat rakes. We've gone through a lot. Yes. Hey, no fighting men there, you two. Wallace, Me They're fighting over the heater. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Come on up here. Come on up. Lou's the one actually wins every time. Lou will probably come up here. All right. Yes. Rakes. rakes. Undercoat <laughs> rakes. Not leaf rakes. No. Undercoat rakes. Yeah, we didn't know that there were rakes either. And that there's different types of undercoat rakes. Correct. Back in the day, we got this one. As you can see, all the rubber has fallen off. But it is very short and stubby and thick. And this is for a heavy undercoat. undercoat. Um, Cause it's thick, it gets through and it can really um, do some damage on those mats and get them out. It does, it definitely takes care of that, helps to prevent further mats and it's nice and rounded, so it does give their skin yeah. kind of like a little massage too. So it gives it's, them like a nice little yeah. scratch while you go. Mm -hmm. It never cuts them or anything. It's not sharp enough to cut them. It just it feels really good for them. So this is the rubber that used to be on yeah. this one. It's how much we use this one a lot more yeah. than this one. So this one is for a light undercoat. Undercoat. As you can tell the difference. Yes, he has long and short. There's two levels of prongs on this one. This is something yes. that you want to incorporate if when you're, you're finishing grooming. yeah when you're finishing to kind of get all the fluff yeah you can kind of run it through all the finished brushed hair yeah to it, get all the loose stuff out it works really great at that this one here is one we just picked up it's for a medium, medium. so it's in between it's in between both these of these two. so it kind of completes our set yeah so we kind of went down a different brand to kind of just try it out and see well, how it works honestly these are from Canada and probably from a good five years ago because mm -hmm. we got them just when we before we moved so yeah. we couldn't really find them this very comparable so we're gonna put up three links one for every for your medium light and heavy yep. matting check it out in the description below we give them a two thumbs up definitely two thumbs up yeah they are a, necess a necessity yes. necessity necessity a necessity exactly. when it comes to grooming a long hair no exactly we just happen to have an old English and so the only thing now we need to do is give you a little demonstration a little pesky tester. Wallace loves this part yeah <laughs> maybe not <laughs> so Wallace we need to get Wallace up back up on the table yeah so here we go Come on, Wallace, get up. Let's go. Up. All right, so now we have Wallace up here on the table. So basically what we like to do when we use these rakes is you'll start, and what I like to do is get right down to the skin and kind of make a line. Here, I'll go in the front so you can kind of see. So I make a line, start at the bottom. This, you can see the pink skin underneath. I'll be the support. And then what I do is you'll just simply start raking. You rake a little layer and then grab a little bit of fur and go. <laughs> Instead of raking leaves, you're raking hair. Grab a little more each time you go. And you can definitely start to visibly see the difference um, between what I've raked and what I've not raked. And that's it. That's as simple as it goes and you just work through the whole body. So once you've gotten a little area, that's where you would take this rake and kind of go through it and catch all of the little finer fluff because then it really leaves yes. no fluff left to fluff out. Yes, the heavy matte rake will break up all those big mats if you have them but you're gonna leave like little mats that get left behind that will and then the light the light mat rake is very, very handy to pick up all those fluffs of matted hair. 
And as you can see, Wallace does look like, oh my goodness, his hair is so matty, but really, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just really wet, rainy weather here in Northern California right now. It's so weird. every time we go out for a walk, which is a couple times a day, his hair will look like this. It gets wet. Which is just why you have to keep on top of grooming. So it doesn't take long. We usually wait for the hair to dry and then we do a quick brush and just yeah. to keep on top of it. And we're done. So we're gonna try out our new medium rake here. The first brush. Ooh. How does it go? Pretty comfortable. Pretty nice. Yeah, very comfortable handle. Considering our old one has no, <laughs> no grip, it's not comfortable at all. Well, actually, it doesn't slow us down. Oh, you want to lay down? Oh, he likes. Oh. He's assuming position. He's like, brush me. Yes, you like it. You like written brush, don't you? So this a brush is a very nice. It has a very nice handle on it. Yeah, we recommend a rake if you have a long haired dog. And typically, sure. it just slides through fairly easy. There is the light, the medium, and the heavy undercoat rakes. And we encourage if you have a long haired dog. These are your most important tools to get through those mats. They are top of our list. Definitely, we use them every yeah. time we groom. We are gonna link all three of these down below. So there you have it, until next video. Bye! Bye. You need a bath. Can you break for a bath? <gasps> Is it time for a bath?